Well, my parents just left after being in town with us for uh, several days, and um, I got the day off still. If you guys recall, I think by the time, I think this will still be available uh, by the time this video goes up, but we have the giveaway going for the gloss black LED emblem from Holisco's Carbon Fiber. Uh, this one was installed on the Q50. It's for 2014 to 2017 Q50, I believe. I now have the color changing emblem, so no need for the gloss black uh, LED emblem with just the white. This is just the white light LED. Uh, so that'll be a good addition to your car, whether you have the factory gray grill or you have the gloss black grill. Uh, it'll look really, really sweet. Uh, so good luck. Get to that uh, video as soon as you possibly can. It is a dedicated giveaway video. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like that video, and then leave a comment in that video letting me know where you're from, city and state. Very easy to enter. That's all you got to do. No purchase necessary. And just make sure you check your messages on Monday May 24th to see if you were the winner of that giveaway. All right, you have until 11.59 p.m. Sunday, May 23rd to get entered, and that's it. Good luck to you. But today, I have the day off, like I said, uh, so I figured I'd just bring you along with me, see what we got going on. Well, that didn't take long. My wife called me and said she forgot her computer at work, or forgot her weird computer at home, so I have to take it over to her office. So we're gonna jump in the queue, head that way. Cold start. Sounds good. Next giveaway for the Infinity mats. If I can figure out a way to package them back up and ship them. They had them all folded up and just taped up into a cube when I got them. But I'll figure out how to ship these things. Maybe the next giveaway will be for those mats. Stick around for that. Did you guys see the video where I had the uh, cutout, the electronic cutout installed on my daughter's MDX? <laughs> thing sounds pretty good now. I'll do some flyby videos or we'll do some drive-by videos today or take some clips today maybe to include in this video uh, pretty cool pretty subtle little thing I think it's fun she loves it my wife was pissed sounds great checked a lot of boxes can't complain <laughs> Did you guys hear it all about this pipeline hacker situation here on the East Coast uh, apparently the, the pipeline uh, supplies like 45 or 49 percent of all the fuel on the East Coast uh, these hackers, I guess, got paid out. They paid them the five million dollars that they were requesting through this ransomware situation. They hacked their network or took them offline or how, whatever the case may be. Apparently, this this hacker group said they didn't intend to disrupt the lives of the people at all. It wasn't their intention to hurt the people. They just want to get the money from the corporations. Well, what the hell do you think is going to happen? But anyway, I don't know if you, any of you guys were impacted by that, but South Carolina, at least the upstate of South Carolina where I am, uh, has been pretty significantly impacted. You might not know, you might not notice it, or you might not think that it's hurting people because of all the cars on the road still, but seriously, it was like the end of the world the other day. It's like the apocalypse was happening. Uh, I think it was, what was it, Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday, I was still at work before I took off for the rest of the week. Uh, my wife called me and said, do you have a full tank of gas? Because apparently people are having trouble finding it. So I took off right away uh, because I knew I was almost empty and I didn't want my parents to be in town and not have any fuel. So, um, you know, I went to the gas station right away. Oh my God, big thing in the road. Um, I went to the gas station right away and sure enough, the lines were out the parking lot, out to, into the street. Uh, several of the pumps had bags on them. It took me actually, I tried two gas stations the QT right down the road which has a ton of pumps it's a massive gas station and there's always a lot of people there fueling up there was no fuel to be had which is insane uh, I went down the road to a smaller gas station nothing and then I found another smaller gas station kind of tucked off on the side off more of a, a less fre frequently traveled road and uh, there were people backed up luckily I was able to get in get a full tank of 93 uh, but you know rough it was kind of crazy to see kind of look to just to look around and and uh, see all the people waiting in line for gas uh, several days have gone by now it's it's now monday morning and there was no gas on tuesday and trucks were sporadically showing up at random gas stations and it wouldn't last very long um, and now again it's monday so we're coming on a full week and gas is very difficult to find so I hope we can remedy this really really quickly hard to imagine this car used to look like that Man. all right
right, we got the computer dropped off. Now, when I'm on this side of town, don't have a choice. Dunkin' Donuts. Oh man, need the coffee drink. And that's the jam right there. Cold brew, cold foam, man. This is the one, guys. If you're a coffee drinker, iced coffee drinker in particular, cold brew with the sweet cold foam, uh, you know, it varies how much foam they give you, but it's it's good. I like the uh, the Irish cream cold brew from Starbucks, but you get more of it here at Dunkin', and it's a little lighter. It's a little easier to drink, in my opinion. Definitely, definitely the good one. parents come from Minnesota they always bring us these they are cheese Cholitos from Zans if you are from southern Minnesota you know that these are a staple that's Zans or Zantigos from Mankato Minnesota oh my gosh so good they've been around since like the 70s or maybe even earlier well before I was even a kid or introduced to them but you can't find anything like it anywhere else delicious doesn't seem like anything special. It's basically cheese and some chili type stuff rolled up in a tortilla shell, a little hot sauce. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. A little top golf on a day off. What you think? Um, I'm excited. Okay, <laughs> third row, here we come. Massive blister. Oh. No premium. Can I run 87 in the Q50? <laughs> no. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, you can really, you can tell. You can tell. I can see the treads now above the front tire. Just a little bit. You can see that little lip. So I brought it up an eighth of an inch rear and front. Uh, so I kept it kind of level. There's a slight, slight bit of rake, which is my preference. Um, but the line was right here before and now I expose this much so it's it's still low We still have to go at an angle to get your fingers up in there, but I think it's better. God everything is very dirty though If you guys didn't watch that other video the BC racing coilovers are Tough to adjust after putting a bunch of miles on them uh, tough to adjust in the front the rears uh, Spun really easily, but the fronts golly they were tight I think it's perfect. I think it's sitting perfect now. I liked it before. It was just a little bit too low uh, in the front. A little bit too much camber. There's still a little bit there, but it looks better. One thing I was also worried about is the geometry now of the rear axles because of how low the car is. They definitely, from the rear diff, go up as they go out to the wheel. It's not level. Uh, so I haven't experienced any axle binding, but I definitely don't want to either. So I'm not sure what level that occurs at on these cars, uh, but I just didn't want to risk it, especially in hard corners where you're really compressing the suspension. I got it on a pretty stiff setting, so we should be able to avoid that. But I think we're looking good now. 
hanging some outdoor curtains on the pergola now I got some rods stained and sealed protect them from the weather I gotta go do some measurements do some cutting get the garage dirty again just the backs I'd done before but now we're doing all around make it its own little room I measure to the middle of here put a couple of brackets on two poles one on each side it's more of these white curtains fun little project Part one of the mission complete. When you think your wife is being nice, when you tell her you have to go to the store really quick, she says, oh, why don't you take my car? Without fail, I get into my wife's car and she's empty, what the hell? Of course you want me to take your car. The car is always empty. So just out of curiosity, about a month or a month and a half ago, I checked in with Carvana to see what I could get on the old Q50 for a trade-in value. And I gotta say, I was surprised, but I just thought I'd look today and see what I could get for a sales price to Carvana, and golly, it blew me away. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to take this deal. Uh, what do you guys think? Oh, God. Over $19,000. Don't say it, don't say it. Sheesh. Seriously though, that's about what I paid for it three years ago with 29,000 miles on it. It's got 62,000 miles on it right now, and that's stock value. That's base model stock value. I don't know what it would tell me if it was a sport or a premium, but I seriously just put it in base. And now I'd, I'd have to take it all back to stock and I don't know what all the fees and stuff are, are that are involved uh, with the Carvana transaction, but I can't imagine I would do better going to a dealership and trading this car in. I, I, that's for sure. I can't get rid of this thing though, guys, can I? Can I? It really all depends on you because uh, you know this channel is never intended to be a Q50 specific channel, uh, but it's sort of evolved into that. And a lot of you guys only watch the channel because of the Q50. It's a hard pill to swallow, trust me, knowing that you're only here for the car and not for me. But I'd be curious to know what you guys would do. Would you continue to watch the Speed Culture Studios channel if there was no longer a Q50 on this channel? Let me know in the comment section if you guys would stick with me still if the, if the uh, Q50 disappeared back to the factory mats and i like them and move the little belt pads to the back seat they look pretty decent back here Mom. That's mom. <laughs> if it is Sunday and you're watching this video, you have until midnight to get entered to win that LED emblem uh, for the 2014 to 2017 Q50. Head over to that video, follow the directions, get yourself entered to win. With all that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate the continued support. See you in the next one. Not sure how the lighting's showing up uh, in the dark here, but we have a nice little relaxing sanctuary out on the patio in the backyard. Pretty cool little entertainment spot. Fire pit, little pergola with some linen curtains. Nice little setup for the summer. Wish you guys could all come over, have a little party. I guess YouTube family we have to do for now. <laughs>